Jean Zangal, Hamilton George, and I'm very proud to be officiating this ceremony today here. I would like to extend a warm welcome to all of you on this joyous occasion once more. As you all know, Jean and Hannah joined in holy matrimony last July. As circumstances had it, it was a very private affair, which many of us could not be part of. But their determination to celebrate their wedding with their dear and dear ones bears fruit today through this ceremony. Jean and Hannah will mark this occasion as a couple, not only by celebrating the love between themselves, but also by celebrating the love between each one of us, including the love of their parents, siblings, extended family, and friends. Without this love, today would be far less joyous. As you look around, you may notice it's a small crowd for an Indian wedding, so count yourself lucky. <laughs> Before we move on to the most awaited and significant part of the day, that is the wedding ceremony, I would like to enlighten the couple, and of course all those who have gathered here, with a reading from the Prophet by Khalil Gibran, the Lebanese poet on marriage, what he says on marriage. I skip the first few lines from the vignette on marriage and continue here. But let there be spaces in your togetherness and let the winds of the heavens dance between you. Love one another, but make not a bond of love. Let it rather be a moving sea between the shores of your souls. Shores of your souls. S-O-U-L-S. First one is S-H-O-R-E-S. Shores of your souls. 